Hi everybody, welcome to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. Thank you for being here. So how did you get on with the other videos of meditation? I hope you did well and you feel more comfortable with that meditation that sounds big, but in reality it's more simple than we thought. So let's start today. So we already we worked how to slow down the breath, the exercise of Ujjayi breath using so aham syllabus to help us. As well, be aware of our emotions and how to direct our emotions. This life is all about acceptation. Sometimes our conflicts arise when we don't want to accept things in the way they are. And we wish they were in another way, but sometimes even wishing doesn't happen. Some things we really need to accept. So that's why is that exercise to help us to accept things in life. No, always is happy life. Sometimes we have struggles, and sometimes life is hard and tough. So we need to be ready. We cannot expect nothing wrong is going to happen. Nothing bad is going to happen. We need to accept the life in the way it is, and that will help us to be resilient. And that is the main thing of meditation. Help us to, whatever happen, we keep our calm. We allow ourselves to be balanced. And that will help us more because sometimes that imbalance is creating from our egos, our habits, our fears, you know, many things that it really put us under pressure with our in our mind and our and we can be overwhelming. Like for example, if we are very worry in our fears and we are constantly thinking in our fears they become bigger and there is a point that we cannot even control the fears you know it's really really even it's difficult to do things because it paralyzes the fear so this is a way the meditation is gonna help us to kind of take this moment those minutes to set our mind clear up our mind so let's start our lesson today so remember, we review again the principles. So again, make sure that you are sitting in a, in a chair that is comfy for you and try to keep your back straight. In case it's very difficult to keep your back straight, use the back of the chair. Just be careful because some chairs are kind of inclined. So you really, you cannot sink yourself down. So maybe you come at the edge of the, of the chair to help you if you need support for your back. You also can do it on the floor if for you it's comfortable and you are flexible enough to cross the legs, fantastic. Okay, but remember, the first thing is feel comfortable. Doesn't does matter how we sit, but we feel comfy. Super. The second part that we are have to review is again how we feel today. If we are in the disposition to meditate, we are in the disposition to really connect with our inner self. Then we slow down our breath. We are aware of our emotions, and then we're going to go to the next part. So let's get ready. Also, it's good to have like a certain ambience in your house, like you can put incense, you can put a candle, you can, you know, make yourself a little atmosphere. That helps us, but sometimes we don't have time, or sometimes we are in somewhere else. So it doesn't really matter. It just helps us to feel us in the mood. But if you don't have it, it's okay. So again, sit comfortable or on a chair, on the ground, whatever is good for you. Make sure that your feet are pushing the ground, that you have the support of your feet to maintain your spine straight. Remember that's important. Take any mudra position in your hands. Remember, I like this one, the boat, but we can take the hands together, holding the a ball of energy. Rest in your hands if it's just okay for you. Do this position, which is very common. <laughs> In yoga, Shnayu Mudra, whatever is good for you. Okay, but just make sure that your hands are not tense and your hands are soft and rested. Okay, so take your position, try them, and you will feel the effects of the hands position. Straight your back, close your eyes, relax your shoulders, relax your face. And make sure that your face is not tense. This is a bit relaxed, like a slightly smiley, just to relax your face. We're back to our breathing. 
We take a couple of breaths if still we need to inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth, saying, so hang. And then we keep our mouth closed. We bring into our mind those two words, so and ham, which means I am, I am with me. Be aware of the pause between inhalation and exhalation. Get your tummy to allow your spine to stay straight. Inhale for four, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Keep the length of the inhalation and exhalation. Be aware of the thoughts, the emotions, the memories arise in your mind, but we keep the awareness into our breath. We move the concentration into our breath. There might be things inside and outside that might disturb us. It's okay. We keep the concentration into the breath. Anytime you mind hooking any of your thoughts, you bring back again your attention into the breath. Maintain your awareness into the present moment. And your present moment is only your breath. Be aware if there are some emotions arising today. Do you process to accept them and understand them? Face them, digest them, swallow them, and let them go. Now today we're gonna focus in our concentration. Where is your concentration? If we have our concentration in our fears, in the things we don't want, we will attract more of them because our mind will be focusing that. So maybe we start to move our attention into the things we wish. At the moment, I'm having conflicts with family member, at work, anywhere. If we are in a conflict with someone, be aware that you keep your mind, you keep your mind focused into who is right, who is wrong. It's just going to consume our energy and it's going to be very difficult to find solution. But if we move our attention into, I want peace, I want harmony, even if still we don't know what to do, we start to vibrate in a completely different energy, in a different frequency. But the most important is going to give us clarity in our mind, because that is the main thing of these exercises us clarity, give us peace, give us a space and time. So we come back to those habits that we have in ourselves, that we react to situations, depends on well, our beliefs. So with the meditation, we need to start 
to release those beliefs, those habits, those way to react that doesn't really help us and start to open our minds into a different possibilities. But the most important, connect us with our inner self. Sometimes the news, the people, the experience, or the people who are not as aware as us make us come into conflict. Our ego make us confused. And we forgot our inner self. That inner self that is peaceful, calm, full of compassion, love, and understanding. And that inner self that is not limited to just a few people. That we understand that we are in this world all together. And we are connecting all together. So we cannot exclude some because our beliefs, because our social circle. So every time that our concentration go into the conflict, the frustration, the ignorance, breathing in deeply, taking time, we connect us again with our inner self. That inner self full of life, energy, compassion, understanding. And then we will find the solutions. Very sometimes we feel like that there are no solutions. There are no way to go in a harmonic way. If we focus our concentration, if we focus ourselves and concentrate into harmony, Peace, understanding, love, compassion, we will find the answer. So be aware now, where is your concentration? And how that thought, feeling, is experimenting in your body and your mind. Then slowly you remind yourself with affirmations. I choose harmony. I choose peace. I choose love. I choose understanding. And feel how everything change. Your perspective change. And sometimes it could be that person that we can't know anymore. And if we really just focus in our inner self, inner calm, inner peace, we might never talk with that person in fixed situations, but at least we're going to liberate ourselves from those thoughts, those feelings. And again, we regain our balance. In any moment, at any moment that you have a thought, emotion, that you concentrate your going something that puts you under pressure, redirect again that concentration into your inner self. Feel your inner self. And slowly we're going to bring our hands into our heart, the middle of the chest, the heart chakra, the middle of the chest. And we're going to affirm it. I am harmony. I am peace. I am love. I am compassion. I choose compassion. I choose love. I choose peace. I choose harmony. And then be aware 
how everything changed mentally and physically definitely will be lighter open free relax and connect then slowly release your hands from the middle of the chest and we're gonna come back take four deep breaths inhale deep and exhale again and exhale again and just one more open your eyes slowly and spray position how you feel good so this is the way it's going to help us to keep into this mood of meditation. Take a few minutes. Now you know how to redirect your emotions or your thoughts into your inner self. And more and more affirmate to yourself that you are peace, you are harmony, you are balanced. So I hope you like it. And remember, take one, two minutes, as much as you need it, to really just focus in your breathing, focus in yourself and redirect your energy. Thank you to join us. Namaste. We'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe, like, and share with your friends. And we love to see your comments. See you again.